How can reading aloud to children help support their oral language development? Which books seem to inspire the most language in your classroom? And why do you think these books inspire so much discussion? The shark said, help me read this. The shark said, then I'll munch and I'll crunch and I'll smash your house in. You probably already read stories to your children every day. A great deal of fun and enjoyment can come out of sharing a good book. Children often want to respond to the story by sharing their own experiences or by pointing out something in the picture. Why couldn't he? What's hanging out? The two oh, the two because of children's innate desire to respond to stories, story time is one time of the day when children are likely to fully engage with language. Our friend the ladybug likes to eat these. Hmm. Teacher Patty Gardner uses interactive read-alouds to encourage the children in her class to share their thoughts and ideas. Before rereading a story that she's read before, she engages children in a conversation that is related to the book. He likes to eat aphids. Oh, he likes to eat aphids! Scratchy Ladybug's one of my favorites because it's repetitive, an interactive story, and helps the children be a part of it. The repetitive nature is important for them. They anticipate the text. Oh, you're not big enough, said the Grouchy Ladybug, and it flew off. We're trying to find different ways for them to participate in reading a story that we've read at least once before. I think read-alouds need to be more interactive because it allows the children on a variety of developmental levels to participate in the story. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. Look how tiny it is to the lobster. And it flew off. Nice Keep job, Lily. I like how you noticed. Keep going hard and keep Lily going. noticed how much smaller the ladybug is to the lobster. By taking the time to acknowledge and respond to children's comments about the story, Patty turns her read-aloud time into an opportunity for children to engage in rich oral language. Effective reading to children enhances language development in a number of ways. First, when you read a book, children listen to you carefully because they're eager to hear what will happen next. During this process, they develop solid listening skills and listening comprehension. Second, as they listen to your story, children make connections between the story and their own lives, and they want to share their experiences. This stimulates their oral language practice. This is called a praying mantis. That's a very um, thin bug that stands on its back legs. I know what praying mantis is because there's one in one of my tag books. In one of your tag books? And I saw one in my garden. You did? And I saw one in... Third, Book reading provides opportunities to introduce new vocabulary to children. If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. What are tusks? Put your hand up if you have an idea what tusks are. Like this. Not yet, sweetie. I'm not quite ready for you to turn the page. Lily, what's a tusk? Um, something that hangs out that's sharp. Children gain the most from read-alouds when they have the opportunity to engage in discussion before during and after reading the book. Let's talk about what you think this book is going to be about. Kara, what do you think? And I'll write your words, okay? I selected Rosie's Walk today um, because there's pages that do not have text which allow children to engage in a lot of oral language using the pictures um, to be able to predict what's what will happen next? There's a fox um, chasing the the chicken. There's a fox chasing the chicken. You're right. It's always interesting to hear what they think the story is about, and not only hear what they think it's about, but why they think it's about what they think it's about. Dominic, what do you think? I think it's about a farm. You think it's about a farm? Why? Why do you think it's about a farm? I think it's about a little red hen in a farm. Oh, does that remind you of Little Red Hen? The important part of shared reading is the word shared. It allowed children the opportunity to engage in conversation. He bumped into a tree. 
Oh, he bumped into the rake from the other page. And his neck got twisted. And his neck got twisted. Does everyone see that? Thank you. See, and anyone else notice anything? So that anytime there's an opportunity to speak and engage in oral language, you're expanding your vocabulary. And the particular book has a lot of the um, conceptual words that, you know, we want children to learn over, under, around. So what's happening here? Alex, what's happening here? Um, um, he ran in, in the water. He did. The, the hen went around and the fox went in the water. Certain stories give teachers the opportunity to focus in a meaningful way on a specific aspect of language. For example, stories with rhymes, poems, and songs are great at enhancing phonology. A dog, a hog, an old barn, frog. Concept books that focus on size, numbers, and colors are great at developing vocabulary and concept development. Every book provides numerous opportunities for you to explore language with children in meaningful ways. When teachers do interactive read-alouds, they're modeling all the really good aspects of, of reading. They're asking children questions, they're asking them to make predictions. And when they start to read, they'll be able to rely on those skills that are there and that knowledge about what reading really is. It's thinking about the story and really being active and uh, participating in the story. Mm -hmm.